Again, today's Spotlight Program being brought to us by our friends at Shouse Voorhees Company in Fairfield. As we do every Monday morning, we reserve a little bit of time for the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce, our friend Tracy Manson Studio. Good morning, Tracy. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Steve? Fabulous. Have a nice weekend. Had a great weekend. It was yeah. a beautiful weekend. Anything exciting to happen over the weekend? Or? No, no, not particularly. Not really? Just enjoyed the nice weekend. It was a nice weekend, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, let's do this. Let's get right into okay. it. By the way, uh, Chamber Talk today being brought to you by Shouse Voorhees Company. If there would be something that you would like to know more about uh, don't forget to log on to the chamber website at fairfieldiowa.com fairfieldiowa.com and sign up for the newsletter it comes out every monday morning today running just a little bit behind because some uh, web issues today what's on your list today well first of all we have our uh, member to member program highlight of the week and that's chickadee um, toys books and gifts for kids they have a new owner amy miller and they're on the north side of the square and if um, you purchase 25 dollars or more you get five dollars off. Oh, cool! Yeah, cool. and um, um, they have um, um, handmade, new, consigned items. And they're all affordable and fun. And so, I want to encourage everybody to stop by and say hi to Amy and see what they've got. All right, that's Chickadee on the north side of the Fairfield yeah. Square. Yeah, and as, as as always, if you want to check any of our member to member programs um, and what our businesses are, which businesses are participating and what they're doing, you can go to. FairfieldIowa.com. What else is on the calendar? Go ahead. i got to clarify one thing on our member member program. I had someone ask me, they thought our highlight when we mentioned that was just for that week only. Oh, okay. So I want to make sure everybody knows that this is not just for this week only. This is the program, and they participate, and they, for instance, Chickadees is given $5 off purchase of $25 or more. That's throughout. Just, that's what they're doing. Just bring your member-to-member discount card in anytime. Exactly. Oh, and that exactly. and that goes for anybody that we mentioned here on the air. That's right. So it's not. So there might have been some confusion. Someone thought someone had mentioned to me they thought it was just for that particular week, and I said no. It's that's what they're doing, and it's anytime. If you want more information about the member member discount, uh, contact the chamber at four seven two twenty one eleven four seven two twenty one eleven. What else is on the calendar? Well, just what we we'll also want to remind everybody about our race on the highway. Oh yeah. With and and I have to. I haven't. I haven't told Russ in this yet, but I talked to my counterpart in the Economic Development Director in Ottumwa on Thursday evening, and he said, because we're ahead of them, I think, at least last time we checked. Yeah, yeah. Way ahead it of them. It would be kick and tail. Yeah. Well, he said they're sandbagging on us. Really? Yeah, and he come right out and admitted it. Yeah. So David Barajas from the, the Tumwa Economic Development Corporation told me that they're sandbagging, so they've got a bunch. So we need to make sure we stay on top of it. And um, and on top of it, we mean liking the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. Liking Center. the Fairfield Arts and Convention yeah. Center. Yeah. So I want to encourage everybody, don't give up. Well, yeah, uh, up. Listen here, the, the slack jawed yokels over, to, they're, they're not going to catch up with us. Well, I don't know. I think it's going to be close. Really? I think it's going to be close. So, right. so yeah, I just want to remind everybody about that. It's a fun thing to do, and I think um, it sure would be kind of cool to have a tumble have to um, – to, um, what, advertise, support one of our programs over here? Yeah. Isn't that what it is? I yeah. think that's what it is. They yeah. have to hang out a poster and actually get on stage and promote one of our events. Promote one of our events, Which, yeah. uh, which Do you know what event it is going to be they're going to promote? No, I don't. You don't? No. I think it's so, uh, I think nope. it's I think it's uh, the JD Crow show that they'll they'll be promoting over there. Is it? I, okay. I, I, I believe so. Or maybe the Low Family, one of those things. One of the one of the great events that we have coming okay. up. So. Anyway, Facebook. Uh, if you're a Facebooker, and by golly, who's not a Facebooker really? Uh, go on Facebook, and then you want to like the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. That's right. And and again, right now we're running away with it. But if you say that they're sandbagging on us, and, that's it, and the last one, they're going to they're going to flood the you know. No, I probably just got I just probably got David in trouble. But he told me Thursday. He says, "Oh no," he says, "We're saying we're we, we're waiting. We're gonna we're gonna get you all at once all right. at the end." I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, but we can't we can't risk it. No, absolutely not. Right. Absolutely not. So anyway, like the Fairfield okay. Arts and Convention Center. That's right. On the uh, calendar again. Well, on this Thursday we have our chamber board meeting. That's 11.45 at the Walton Club this Thursday. Uh, and then Friday, April 6th, is the Art Walk. Lost and Found Art. Vintage, Recycled, and Found Art. The event will be focused on recycled art, junk art, found art, and other creative expressions from the past. Artisans will show their, creative, their creativity in reusing and integrating past objects into new and innovative designs. There will be workshops offered on creative recycled arts and displays of fun and funky vintage art. 
There will be fun live music at different venues, and this event will allow for alternative expressions of creati creativity to flow. And tomorrow on our Spotlight program, uh, Dana will be... Dania. 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 Dania's behind me, but Dania will be here. Dania will be here, yeah. 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 Somebody, yeah. somebody so will be here tomorrow about Art Walk. And I think this is the weather supposed to... What's the weather supposed to be like? It's going to be around 22 degrees with flurries. What? <laughs> no, I don't know. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> you usually have that check for huh? me. Well, I'll, I'll look right now at exploreseiowa.com, where you can find weather 24-7, brought to you by Davis and Palmer Real Estate on the web. But uh, okay. uh, weather-wise, uh, this weekend going to be beautiful, just like it has been this past weekend. So. Yeah, so it'll be a great, great night to go out and visit the Art Walk. Yeah, and again, that's uh, coming up this uh, this Friday night, first Friday's Art Walk, yeah. April uh, 6th. By the way, real quickly, we'll be uh, we have a live broadcast scheduled for Friday evening as well at 5 o'clock at... Uh, that cellular place on the south side of the square. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. All sorts of plugging okay. going on today, isn't there? Yeah. All right. Okay, and then on Saturday, we have the Fairfield Indoor Farmer's Market. So the Farmer's Market will return to Howard Park beginning in May. Uh, but so for the rest of April, they will be at um, the Fairfield Senior Center from 9 to noon on Saturday. Then, coming up in a couple weeks... Oh, well, before we get into that, let's talk about on the 27th, we have our annual Chamber Annual Awards Banquet. And that will start at 5.30 uh, with cocktail hour and dinner at 6.30, catered by Yummies Gourmet Cakes. Friday, lots of sunshine, afternoon high in the mid-60s. All right. For the art walk. Okay. Chamber Banquet again on the 27th? <coughs> yep. 27th? Yep. And uh, that's going to be at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. Yeah, we give out all of our, our business awards. We get a, give out our Citizen of the Year. We're going to have some entertainment and fun. Um, and if you would like to uh, make your reservation, I would encourage you to make your reservation early. Um, you can do so by calling the chamber at 472-2111 or online at Fairfield Chamber Awards Banquet. Dot com. Uh, real quickly, also that week on the 26th is the uh, annual Rotary Auction. is mm. coming up on the 26th at the uh, Fairfield Arts Convention Center. So you want to get in touch with the uh, 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 a Rotary member today or this week sometime in the not-too-distant future and pick up your, your uh, ticket to the Rotary Auction, which is on the 26th. All right. All right. You have a guest today. We do. That's because on Tuesday, April 17th, that's two weeks from tomorrow, the, the Chamber will be hosting and sponsoring Speed Networking. And that's going to be from noon to 1.30. Again, that's Tuesday, April 17th at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club. And uh, I have with me one of our Chamber Board members, Terry Baker, who is kind of the... The godmother of speed networking in Fairfield? <laughs> the fairy godmother. The fairy godmother? Um, She's going to make us an offer we, did, we can't refuse? We did, we did a speed networking event, what, a couple years ago maybe? Yeah, it's been a couple years since yeah. we've, we've had one. And uh, it's, so it's, it's about time that we get this sort of re-enlivened and get people back together, kind of stirring up the business pot here in town. And, and um, speed networking is an awesome event that really allows anybody that's doing business in town or wants to know more about what's happening in the community in terms of business to really get... Um, that little sound bite of what's what somebody's business is all about. So this particular speed networking, we will have a luncheon with, along with the networking process. So come to the country club. You'll have a there'll be a buffet lunch set out. Have your lunch, and then we start the speed networking. And it works a lot like speed dating, except you don't get to take the other person home with you. So we just sit across the table and and ask questions and and talk about what's going on with business. So. Um, it's a lot of fun, and I think um, we usually get a nice crowd with that. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to the speed dating that you're used to, Steve, this is a, a time where people just make contact with, with fellow business owners, people conduct business in the community, uh, and just get a feel for what, what they do, what maybe what kind of services they provide, um, those sort of things. Um, and we think this is valuable because, you know, we want to encourage our businesses to to support our their own local businesses and their fellow local business owners so um, this is one way we can do that Terry how did the uh, speed networking start um, it started a couple years ago we were looking for some programs with the chamber that would allow our members to interact a little bit more on a different level than our other programs like business after hours which is a great program in and of itself but speed networking is 
really that opportunity to just sort of sit one-on-one -on -one and have that l that minute and a half to really find out about somebody's business. So we brainstormed a little bit about some different options, and the speed networking seemed to be a really good option to bring to the table. And it's been very well received. We've done several of these, trying them at different times of day, and we're going to uh, start out with a lunch one this particular time, and later on in the fall, I believe we're going to do another one that'll be more um, an evening event so that we can cover everybody's schedule. And I think it, it really is based on the principle that each and every one of us is connected to a lot of people. We know a lot of people in town. And when you come to speed networking, maybe you're sitting across from someone who you don't necessarily need what they're offering, but you always know people who do. And that's the, it's really a way to connect people to more clients, more customers, and really expand everyone's business as well as just information. I actually think that anybody who's fairly new into town, this is a great opportunity to find out kind of what's happening and find out the services that are available to you. So anybody can participate in this. Certainly as a chamber member, if your business is a chamber member, then you are a chamber member and you're welcome to come to this event. So it's really open to a wide range of people. And we're even, we even have people come from out of town for this so because we have chamber members who are in Washington, Mount Pleasant, different areas. They actually come and participate in this event as well. So it really kind of opens up the field when you think about if each person's connected to a couple hundred other people that aren't at this event, you really have access to a wider range of, of clientele. And the dynamics of it, what will somebody experience when they come to, to Speed Networking? Well, when you sit across from the table with someone, uh, you will have about a minute to a minute and a half to tell that other person about your business. Then there's a little bell, and then the other person has the same amount of time to talk to you about their business. Let's do this. Let's do a Speed Networking thing right now. You and Tracy. <laughs> we're, we're, so I'm going to start the clock right now. You have a minute and a half. Go. Are you serious? I'm serious. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> but we already know Let's, about each other. Well, yeah, we already know. Terry Baker. This is uh, Tracy Vance. Terry's okay. going to send out cards. Tracy's with the uh, Chamber of Commerce here in Fairfield. Terry, uh, tell Tracy a little bit about uh, send out cards and yourself. Tracy, I belong with a company that's called Send Out Cards, and the basics of my company is that we inspire individuals to stay in touch and connect with other people. I'm really looking for customers who are interested in connecting with other people, finding a new way to connect that goes beyond email and phone calls, that really creates a heartfelt connection using greeting cards and gifts. So I'm really looking for that kind of customer. If you know anybody that could use that and, and connect with other people in that way, I'd really like to know about that. Tracy, this is uh, Terry. Terry, Tracy. Tracy, tell Terry a little bit about the Chamber of Commerce. Well, the Chamber is a, a, a member-driven organization that um, is an advocate for its members that want to connect um, members to other members um, that, that support our community. Um, we are looking for members who, who believe in, in Fairfield and, and the business community. And so if you know of anybody that, that, um, that um, wants to participate in the, the growth of Fairfield, we, uh, that's, that's the kind of person I'm looking for. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what speed networking is all about. And then there's, yeah. of course, time to ask some questions. I'd probably ask Tracy, oh, is he looking for members, big industries or small business, you know, right. what kind? So w there's a little time for mm -hmm. questions. But then at the end of that, then we switch and we move on to somebody new. So at the end of the time period, you probably have made 12 to 15 new connections mm -hmm. and have been introduced <laughs> to some new people. Certainly you may be introduced to somebody you already know, but you might find out something new and different about that particular individual. So it's really a lot of fun. It's very dynamic and uh, we have a good time with it. Tuesday the yeah. 17th at uh, the Fairfield Golf and Country Club is when it is. Is there a sign-up period? Yes, and you need to pre-register with the chamber, um, 472-2111. Talk to Lori over there and, and get signed up for that. There is a charge for that, of course, because the, we have lunch included. And if you're not a chamber member, you can sign up for speed networking as well. It's just a little additional charge. So I want to be sure everybody gets on board with that. Yeah, it's twenty dollars for chamber members and thirty dollars for non-chamber members. So again, um, as Terry said, you can call the chamber or you can email us at chamber at fairfieldiowa.com. All right. Again, Speed Networking coming up April 17th at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club. If you want more information, uh, fairfieldiowa.com is the website. And uh, again, you can email them chamber at fairfieldiowa.com. Right? 
That's right. Anything else on the calendar? Um, let me see here. I think we've covered about everything. I can't believe I almost, I, I like put Terry on the spot there with the speed network. You did. Huh? Yeah, you did. You're, you're, you're usually she, right she, on it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what, it's, that's what speed network is all about, though, right? Yeah. Just, it's just like that. All right. So that's uh, Speed Networking, April 17th. And again, uh, this week there's a, you have a board meeting win. Uh, on Thursday. On Thursday. Yeah, on Thursday. Yeah. And other now, kind of a light week. Don't forget yeah. the Chamber Banquet coming up on the 27th. The yeah. 27th at the Fairfield, uh, or the Arts and Convention Center, and there's still time to register for that. Um, reserve your table and your spot for the Chamber Banquet on the 27th. And again, kind of a new twist on things this year. Going to um, they're gonna highlight uh, the awards more so than uh, anything, and then there's some entertainment and the dinner. Well, it's yeah. a pretty good time. I'm looking yeah. forward to it this year. Yeah. Not that I haven't looked forward to it in the years past. It's just oh, anytime there's something new, it seems like, you know. Yeah. Well, we're, we're excited about it. We're excited about it. Tracy Vance and Terry Baker's been our guests today here on the Spotlight Program. It's a Chamber Talk on a Monday. And again, today's Chamber Talk being brought to us by our friends at Chow's Voorhees Companies in Fairfield. Stay tuned. The market's just around the corner here on KMCD Classic 96.